Latirix. All right, next up we have Latirix by Latirix from the album Latirix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, 1997 in the same year of, or same era of like indie hip hop that kind of that produced doom post kmd uh, obviously yeah yourself this is the, the west i mean this yeah. is before me this is this is a this is like soul sides uh yeah. you know um even before that what but all those it was a kind of bled into each quantum other, like indie hip -hop oh yeah I, and there was definitely a crossover like right. like latirix did stuff with lp right um but this i so i was a, a the one of the w weird new york guys that um loved weird west coast rap like uh -huh. none of my friends really listen like i listen to freestyle fellowship and i listen right. to terex i was you know a lot just a lot of the um the, the good life stuff but also the weird kind of bay area stuff mm -hmm. um and uh and this this song was the most bl mind-blowing song to me ever at the time because two guys rapping completely separate verses in different years it was just like, like with every song on this album it felt like they were they were doing something that no one had done before right. it's almost like they consciously did that and i don't yeah. really know if they did and not to mention, I think, uh, pretty sure Shadow did the beat on this yeah, one. Did, um, yeah, Shadow did the beat. Uh, which is funny because uh, I think a lot of people assume that I was a huge Shadow fan. Right. And I was, but I liked his Latirix stuff. Right. I never really listened to the instrumental stuff, but like his, his work with Latirix and Blacklicious was always amazing to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and this, it just was like, these guys were just so creative and like, and it was the, the mo it was very pure creativity. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I'm going to admit, I did not like this song because of the rapping yeah. in two they were rapping in like two different speaker like yeah one on i smoked weed back then until yeah. it blew my mind <laughs> yeah so one guy i get it the, i get it though i yeah, get it i get I why like, you this would. is annoying you know but but i mean the album cover here exemplifies that whole concept with you know them to kind of merge together and splitting apart and being yeah. one side of one's totally. on the left side one's on the right you know so it really kind of demonstrates what artistically what they were doing vocally musically oh, on yeah. this track you know and and i mean it just they they both had such had styles that no one was doing and uh and and on every song they had a style that no one was doing right. so and yeah. and this was this was a very good showcase of that it, it takes patience to listen to it yes it's definitely not an easy listen yeah. <laughs> yeah. but it it that song it 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 was a very impactful song to me mm -hmm. as far as like what you could do right it was like vocally. an extension of freestyle fellowship totally but uh -huh. but like for me, for like freestyle fellas, I was like, Arr! okay, that's where yeah, yeah, I'm good yeah. here. And yeah. Then, right, right. yeah, and then they went further. I was right. like, okay, you guys are. They were they right. were willing to be way nerdier about yeah, that. Right? Way, they yeah, way. They were like, we're, f we're yeah. we can be dorks and right. and really almost like be like weird rap mathematicians or something yeah. like that. <laughs> but yeah, freestyle fellowship was still like dudes from South Central. You know? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. It was it's, it's just like it's like yeah. you know they 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 were yeah. super creative and and brilliant, but these guys were just like. I think did different drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what I do like about this new reissue and the color vinyl is that they actually put "Lady Don't Techno" on 45 is included because I guess it wasn't on the original album. It's so long ago, I don't remember. But yeah, that was this, a 12 inch. This and this song was like so funky. Oh yeah. And I mean, like this is you know, not really. It's like, another one bites the dust hip hop version. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Such a funky groove and. The, the, and this is a song that you could play out, totally. Like, because I, I, you know, I don't have that much experience DJing, yes. but when I did, this was a very agreeable thing that I yes. could play, and, and girls who had never heard it would dance right. to it. And yeah, it wasn't like, hey, I'm gonna play like some lyrics for you. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like they were like selling out, like, oh, we're gonna do our commercial song. This was just like them. No, this is just, just doing them. Well, this yeah. was also, you know, using that snare and the bass line with well, a snare that was acceptable. That was right. very oh, West yeah. Coast. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You can use that snare. It's like right. sped up, born to roll, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it kind of has that yeah. same vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Did you ever hear the song Hot People? On the, it was on the Quantum album. Yes. It's, it's a. Yes. And that's like straight up like. Right. It's it's just a uh, lyrics born being completely out of his mind. It's I love it, but it's yeah. like it's like an '80s R&B song pretty yeah. much. But he raps on it. Yeah, it's also, fucking awesome. Um, I changed my mind. Is another. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Funky, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm saying all like stuff yeah. that no one did. Yeah. No one yeah. like no rappers did songs like this right. back then. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Latirix by Latirix from the album Latirix. Thank you, Latirix. Yes. <laughs> and Lady Don't Take Me. 